Hi everyone. In this lecture, we are going to study about monopole antenna. So, as its name suggests, mono and pole. So, it comprises of two things: mono and pole. Mono means single, and here is the antenna that have only one pole. So, monopole antenna. antenna consist of single pole that is mounted on the ground so here is the single pole that is being mounted on the ground so that is mounted on the ground here if we integrate this name then mono means single and pole here is the stand or we can say that be mounted on a ground so it says that it is a single pole antenna moving on to next point that is one end of supply is then connected to the monopole antenna and the another end is connected to the ground so here is the one end of the supply here is the supply that is being connected to the one end of an antenna and the another end is connected to the ground so here is the one end here is an another end so one end of supply is connected to the monopole antenna and another end is connected to ground one end of supply is connected to monopole antenna and other end is connected to ground only so this is the connection of supply with the monopole antenna as well as with ground the radiation pattern of the monopole antenna is omnidirectional in each and every case so the radiation pattern of monopole antenna is omnidirectional always so this is how the radiation pattern of an monopole antenna looks like the electromagnetic wave that is being transmitted by the monopole antenna gets reflected by the ground so here is the electromagnetic wave that is being reflected by the ground in this direction and will emerge at this point p that is forming the second half of the antenna so the electromagnetic wave transmitted by monopole antenna gets reflected by the ground only so here is the em waves that is transmitting toward the ground and it get reflected towards the point p so gets reflected by the ground
and this reflected wave that emerge at the point P forms the second half of the monopole antenna. So this is the second half below the ground. So these reflected waves forms the second part of monopole antenna. Now, if we talk about the length of the monopole antenna, then there are two types of length in case of monopole antenna. The first part of length is said to be physical length and the second type of length is said to be the virtual length. So the length of the monopole antenna above the ground is said to be as physical length. But on the other hand, the length of the monopole antenna below the ground is said to be as virtual because the virtual length of a monopole antenna is being generated by the reflection of the waves at the point P. That's why it is termed as virtual length. So let me write it. The physical length of monopole antenna will be equals to lambda by 4 always. So here is the physical length of the monopole antenna above the ground. So it will be always lambda by 4. But if we talk about the sum of the physical length as well as the virtual length, then we can say that it will be lambda by 4 plus lambda by 4. That will result into lambda by 2 only. So physical length plus virtual length it will be equals to for the upper half of the monopole antenna it will be equals to lambda by 4 and for the virtual length it will be equals to lambda by 4 so the final length of the whole monopole antenna will be equals to lambda by 2 only so this is the length of monopole antenna above and below the ground and this is all about the basic introduction about monopole antenna if you like my content then do subscribe my channel and please hit the like button thank you